What an intro! Oh my goodness! Hey, hey, party people! Thank you very much for joining me on another episode of Fifi Plays. Alright, so as you can see from the intro and the title, this game is called Lucius. And I know it's really old. I think it came out in 2012, actually. So, <laughs> almost nine years ago. But it's been on my Steam library for a really long time, and I've never actually opened it. So I thought I would give it a try. So let's just see what this game is all about. I think I remember I used to watch a YouTuber called Cryotic. I don't... I'm not subscribed to him anymore because I haven't really seen him game very often. But, um, yeah, anyways, I, I remember him playing this way back when, and I kind of thought it was interesting, but I never stayed till the end of the game. So, yeah, it's about a little boy who I think is the Antichrist, so <laughs> should be fun. Right, let's just start a new game, shall we? You can use memory erase if someone has caught you. Interesting. So yeah, obviously being the Antichrist, this little boy has powers. June 6, 1972, it's cold as hell. Um, and yeah, I think the goal of the game is to kill everyone in your path, but I don't really remember. <laughs> There's no one can deny Someone's gonna break in Or they're expecting this It's person. time to blow out the candles Remember to make a wish, honey That's my boy very good. So, Happy okay. birthday, son. Did you see that, Dad? Man, they grow up fast. I bet you can remember my sixth birthday like it was yesterday. Mary, could you please clean up? Lucius can help you with the dishes. He can stay up later this evening to play with his new toys, but in bed no later than ten. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so anyway, as I was trying to say, never mind, later that evening. I'll wait till the cutscene's done and then I'll talk. You're a creepy little boy. Kill your maid, aren't you? Probably. <gasps> Hello? Are you going to say anything? It's almost ten o'clock. Get ready for bed. What the heck was that all about? Um, okay, hold that thought. Um, before we get into this, I know that since this game is so old, the graphics aren't going to be that great. So... I think I have to use my mouse for this. Let's go... Medium. Actually, you know what? Let's go low. Because I want you all to have a smooth experience. Okay, so... HUD introduction? Why can't I move? Detection indicator. You are so creepy. Little kids in horror games and movies, honestly... I can't move. Hello? Pick up the padlock from the table by pressing A. 
Okay. Oh, now I can move. That was weird. Okay, padlock from the table. Cool. Here's a padlock. I got it! Put that away. Close doors by pressing A. Can I close this door? Lock the freezer. Nice. By pointing at it with the padlock. Okay, so I'll get the padlock back out and lock it. Freezer is not cold enough. Well, I better freeze it then. <laughs> My first kill. I'm so proud. You're not getting out of here, sorry. Jeez. Having the lower details makes everything really creepy. Hello? Somebody look out. <laughs> <laughs> da -da 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 -da. It's the da -da 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 the thug life song. Anyway. Well, my babysitter's dead, so I guess it's time to go to sleep. Oh, no. I missed an opportunity there. My babysitter's dead, so it's time to go to bed. <laughs> you okay there, buddy? Are you... Ooh, a crow. Can we talk to it? That would be a cool power to have, I think. Ooh, creepy. Oh, my God. Who would ever buy that clock for their child? That's the scariest thing I've ever seen. Well, at least it won't stink, because she's going to be well-preserved, right? Ew, is she missing her fingernails? Because that would be disgusting. If I put the pieces together, this all started years back, with the arrival of a new life. Dante Manor was a place filled with darkness, and there were outward ambitions and hidden histories in that house. I tried to help. I should not have become so involved. But how these things unfold when we are thrust on the scene, I can't account for at all. For my part in these events, I waive responsibility. But it's there. It's a mark. A mark I should have noticed. At its source, at the center of it all, was the boy. The boy. The boy of death. Lucius. Dun, 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 dun. Alright, well, I'm going to be really enjoying this game if all I have to do is go around and kill people. Seems like a really, uh... Straightforward kind of game, you know? <laughs> oh no, the house is on fire! What am I going to do? Lucius, there you are. And here I am, finally, face to face. Where are you? Oh, there it's you are. It's okay. You can trust me. You know who I am, don't you? My father? I've come to speak to you about your calling, my boy. Each offering you bring me will make you big and mighty. It's a simple thing to do, Lucius. You can influence your future and become a master over all. But oh, so much to do. So much ahead of you. I'm listening. I have some things for the birthday boy. There, on the desk. Okay, we talked about that. Aw, does that little teddy bear have a scythe? You'll need this notebook. It will help you on your journey. Excellent. Mary has frozen to death. 
I should get the padlock back so no one will suspect that it was me. Good call. And look, a flashlight. This will help you find your way around at night. Go ahead, pick up your new toys and see how they work. Such a bright boy. Literally. <laughs> Put the batteries. Okay. Aha. No, but seriously, zoom in on that, and it's now a teddy bear with a rainbow you sight. Need to do a and that's really something. cute. It is important that you are not caught. Yes. I'm listening, Lucifer. In the kitchen. You left the lock on the freezer door. You will need to get that padlock, Lucius, and hide it where nobody can find it. Otherwise, they will discover you. Makes sense to me. And believe me, you wouldn't want that to happen. Okay, are you done? Time is Go of the now. essence. Get the padlock okay. before the adults wake up. I would. They locked me in here? Oh my god, what's happening? Oh, I'm being transferred. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, is that a dream? Oh, good, I can run. And I got a map. Nice. So I need to go out of my room, go to the left, down the hallway, and then right, and up the stairs. Okay. No one will ever suspect me. Ah, here's the stairs. Oh, I'm going downstairs. Okay. Beware of crosses. They make you weaker. Okay, so now I need to... Go this way. Running, 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 I'm running. Uh, oops, I missed. Here, perhaps? Aha! The kitchen! Alright, grab it. Put that away. Whoa! <gasps> Telekinesis! Heck yeah! <laughs> Who could it be? It certainly was not me. It most definitely was not me. I guess she must have fainted and then just froze. I don't know. Detective McGuffin. What do we got here? It looks like a cardiac arrest, sir. The woman collapsed in the walk-in freezer. This was probably caused by the sudden change of temperature. She was in her mid-fifties. Typical of women her age. Did you talk with the Is owner it? of the house? No, sir. They're waiting for you in the kitchen. I know a lot of 50-plus women who have no issue going into a freezer, but sure. How can something like this happen, Detective? Was it a seizure of some kind? We'll look into it, but it looks like a case of misadventure. I'd ask that you stay clear of the kitchen and keep staff away while we clean up. Just relax and focus on getting life back to normal. Thanks, Detective. We'll try our best. Just forget that somebody died in your house. No big deal. July 12th, 1972. Uh, smoking kills. Okay. I think we're gonna burn someone to death this time. Hey, Lucifer's gonna come back, I think. Or maybe not. Maybe he only makes 
uh, occasional appearances. Kind of reminds me of a game I used to play, L.A. Noir. It's got the same style. Hi, Jean. Thank goodness you're here. Things are a mess. This could have real negative repercussions in an election year. <clears throat> it's a private matter and an unfortunate accident. The press will keep out of it. I've seen to that. I could always count on you, Jean. Make yourself at home while I tidy up some papers. Just ring for Alistair if you need anything. Take all the time you need. Okay, I guess we're back to to it. Let's check the updates. Okay. So, Mary... Mary's cleaning. I took the padlock. I should put this in my pocket so no one will find it. It might become useful later. Father's colleague, Gene. He visits my father sometimes for business. I hate when he smokes in the dining room. Gives me a headache. Well, there's only one way to deal with that. Kill. Time to kill. Hey, back to the stairs. I'm just a little boy. I don't mean anyone any harm. Hello. Can't you see I'm performing a delicate operation here? Why don't you go downstairs and watch TV or something? I wasn't even talking to you, but sure. Da -da 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 -da. Dining room. Here we are. So, what now? Am I doing my telekinesis, I wonder? Detection computer. How do I use my power? Behavior status, 0%. Chores, 0. Alright. Maybe I'll just talk to <sighs> well, him. Well, there you are, Lucius. Let me look at you. I believe you've grown since I last saw you. Probably. Because that's what kids do, How are dummy. your lessons going? Can I talk? I can't do this while someone's able to see you. Stop creeping around, Lucius. You're making me nervous. My drone business! Whoops. Well, accidents do happen. I'm sure it's alright. <sighs> well, there you are, Lucius. Shut Let up, I'm busy. I believe you've grown since I last saw you. Nothing in there, nothing in there. Nothing in there. How do I use my powers? That's what I need to know. Telekinesis, D-pad up. How are your lessons going? How do I do it? How do I do it? How are your lessons going? I'm trying to concentrate! Oh, maybe it doesn't work if you can see me. Stop creeping around, Lucius. You're making me nervous. And you are breaking my concentration, sir. Dang it, what am I supposed to do? <sighs> well, there you are, Lucius. Let me look at you. I believe you've grown since I last saw you. 
Ah. How are your lessons going? None of your business. Have you seen my matches? No. Why would I have your matches? I'm just a little boy. Now, the only way for him to light his cigarettes is with the oven. I should set a trap. The oven has a system that prevents the gas leaking out. Have you seen my matches? Wait. I need to set a trap first. Just hold on. Hmm. Light. Where can I get light? Ah, here we go. Okay, so it says I need a tool of some kind. The oven has a system that prevents gas. I need a tool. Hmm. Sorry. Button seems a bit loose. Should probably borrow a screwdriver from the janitor and fix it. That trunk sure as hell ain't gonna do it himself. Where's the janitor? Don't worry, Lucius. Mary is now in a much better place, along with her husband. Thanks, Mom. Okay. So I guess I need to find the janitor. So let me just see. Why am I pulsing? Alright, so that's the dining room. Freezers. WC. Is that washroom, perhaps? Um, okay. I need to find the janitor, I guess. Hello? Can I go in here? Whoa! Glitchy. Alright. Anything in here that I could take? What's keeping your father? I need to find some more matches. It's amazing that I can hear you from here. Alright, I guess I'm gonna look upstairs then. Hey, are you the janitor? Okay, uh, you just keep on doing your thing, I guess. I am definitely not gonna do anything dangerous I with know this. I know can be a bit odd, but be a sweetheart and be polite to Gene. He is a guest in our house after all. No! You can't tell me what to do! <laughs> What's keeping your father? I need to find some new matches. I can't be messing with the oven each time I need a light. Okay. The oven is rigged and Gene does not have a clue. <laughs> guess I'll just take a seat. Or I guess I'll just remain standing. Do, do, do. I'm an innocent little boy. Look at how innocent I am. Look, I'll even close the freezer because I know it's responsible to save energy. Do it! Light up, my friend. Woo! Now, detective. Huh. What can I say, Mr. Wagner? This is a real unfortunate series of events. Quite uncanny. Of Gene was my campaign manager. 
and a friend of the family for many years. I'll be lost without him. I know this must be a difficult time for you, but we really must do an investigation here. I'll need to speak to your handyman about the gas leak. This shouldn't have happened. I had a feeling there was something weird going on in that house. I couldn't quite yet put the pieces together, so I took a step back for a while, let it brew. And after a few weeks, the call came in. Just when things were getting back to normal, there had been another accident in that godforsaken house. It happened on a rainy day. I think it was Tuesday. The janitor, who was known to be quite the drinker, was fixing a bathroom in the lower west wing. Well, why would you keep someone who's a known alcoholic in charge of your cleaning and such? Hey, Lucifer! Welcome Hello, back. Hello, Lucius. Here we are again. Yes, indeed. You've been doing very well, haven't <laughs> you? My, you make me proud. Aw, shucks. But I must teach you some of the more, let us say, subtle arts which you can use. I mean, I think I've been pretty you subtle. You can train your mind to move objects at your will. Yes. Here, let me show you how. I already know how. Yeah, I know. Excellent. Very good. Hold down both buttons. Okay. Ah, oh, so close. All right, wait for that to refill. <laughs> oh my goodness. In the box. Go in the box. There we go. Excellent. Thanks. Breaking items. Okie dokie. Go away. I'm doing this one this time. Hey. Very good. Oh, I just focus on it. Okay. Start machines. All right. Now you know what to do, my son. You must continue with your mission and bring me souls. <laughs> this is a bop. Be careful, but show no mercy. Yes, sir. Lucifer, sir. It's important to appear as a good boy to everyone. Well, that's okay, because I am! August 4, 1972. Tone death. Alright, I feel like this is a good time to end the episode here. But, yeah, I am really enjoying this game so far, even though it's I know, a little bit old, and it's a little bit lacking in the graphics department, but it's still pretty good for 2012. I mean, I'm having a really good time, so I hope you all are too. And, uh, yeah, I hope that you have enjoyed this episode, and I hope to see you all in the next episode. So have a wonderful rest of your day. Mwah.